My name is Noa Rothbart. I'm a breast radiologist from Bellinson Hospital in Israel. And my abstract is about cryoablation of breast cancer. Breast cancer treatment has evolved dramatically from radical mastectomy to breast conserving therapy. Cryoablation is a minimal invasive technique developed as a possible alternative to lumpectomy in certain specific cases. Cryoablation has several advantages if you compare it to surgery. First of all, there is no need for general anesthesia, which is an excellent solution for patients that cannot go through surgery with general anesthesia because they have severe background diseases. There are no post-surgical complications. The recovery times are shorter. The cosmetic results are much better. The procedure is less expensive and is well tolerated by patients. It is a safe procedure. 16 patients were collected in our institute. All of them were patients that could not go through surgery because they had severe background diseases or women that refused to go through surgery. The seven patients were excluded because their tumor characteristics did not fit the study criteria. For example, they had a bilateral tumor, multifocal cancer, triple negative cancer, and so on. So our study included nine patients. All of them had unilateral unifocal breast mass. All breast masses were measured up to 2.4 centimeters. All masses were situated at least five millimeters from the overlying skin. All cases had negative lymphadenopathy and a without distant metastasis and all cases had a multidisciplinary team approval to abort sentinel lymph node biopsy. After the procedure, all patients were invited to mammography follow-up six months and then 18 months after the procedure, and all patients were treated with adjuvant therapy according to the decision of the multidisciplinary team. Here you can see a few images of the freezing cycle. The ice ball enlargement is seen after one minute three minutes and 10 minutes. The ice ball is the anechoic shadow along the axis of the needle, eventually surrounds the whole mass and covers it with good margins of one centimeter from each side of the tumor. This is a mammography before the procedure and after six months and 18 months post-procedure. After six months, there is fat necrosis around the clip with lower density compared to the original mass. From our experience in our study, there were no major complications. Women felt good through the procedure and after the procedure. The more interesting complication is the IBTR, the ipsilateral breast tumor recurrence rate. What we know by now from literature data is that for three years follow-up, the recurrence rate is similar to lumpectomy as long as women are treated with appropriate adjuvant treatment. In our study, unfortunately, uh, one patient was diagnosed with distant metastasis nine months after the procedure. All the other patients are still on follow-up. The results by now seems good without recurrence. Cryoablation may be an alternative to lumpectomy in this population of patients with appropriate adjuvant treatment. The recurrence rate we know by now is approximately three years. We will continue following the data also after five years. More research is needed with large amount of patients in order to support the known findings and consider this procedure as a possible alternative to lumpectomy. So, in conclusion, the treatment of breast cancer evolved dramatically toward less invasive procedures. About cryoablation, although it seems a good alternative in certain specific cases, we should remember that for now it is not suitable for all cases of breast cancer mainly because it treats only the breast without sentinel lymph node biopsy. So each case should be considered individually by the multidisciplinary team in order to decide uh, how to treat it.